Hello guys, in this video I'd like to show you the power consumption of the Intel Skylake processor. That processor is the Pentium G4400 and I put this in that motherboard which is located in this lovely CPU case uh, with a huge CPU cooler, that's a Zaman CNPS 9900 uh, a crucial M500 SSD one, front, uh, one fan here on the front and then an extra fan here in the back and the power consumption right now is 28 29 watts a little bit more than 28 watts this is only the case no monitor no speakers nothing as attached only only the computer itself and it is on performance now I can switch it to power saver as I did it right now but uh, it doesn't affect the power consumption so change it back to performance and then run few tests firstly the prime 95 and the CPU should be on 100% now and pretty much it is and the power consumption is only 57 watts all around it it's not that bad it's not that bad at all so I think Prime 95 is is enough stop it yeah and it drops straight back to 28 and another test that is going to stress the CPU the memory and the GPU as well it's called heavy load and this one even doesn't stress that much because the power consumption is only 53-54 watts so well anyway altogether the power consumption of the whole system is not not that much however the person uh, I build this computer for likes uh, lights and I had to put these fans on the side of the case so just let me put down the camera and the trick of these fans are the lights bloody bright 32 LEDs anyway on my channel I've got uh, a kind of preview of these fans, a short video, and well, these are really bright fans. If you want a lot of extra light, yeah, these are your choice. And as you see, it means 10 watts of power consumption, which is uh, not that eco-friendly but actually it looks good so don't worry 
and actually also on my channel you can find another video it's pretty much the same computer same case uh, except the motherboard because few months ago I installed another motherboard it was a gigabyte but um, well after quite a few weeks time it gave up so I decided don't give another chance to gigabyte and I chose this one hopefully this is going to be better and I don't remember exactly but I think the power consumption with this motherboard is slightly better than than the gigabyte and actually it's just about 10 watts of power consumption ah another thing just want to show you quickly uh, that's the temperature of the CPU and here we are it says 24 is this the CPU yes 24 the motherboard is hotter than the CPU so 